Well, hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I'm going to be discussing how you can unlock the brand new Machete DLC weapon the fastest here in Black Ops Cold War. So welcome everyone to Cold War as well as Warzone Season 2. Naturally, with the brand new season, there were quite a few new DLC weapons that were added into the game, and one of which is of course the Machete, and that's what I'm going to be talking about in today's video. Now, of course, in the Season 2 Battle Pass, there are two primary DLC weapons, one of which is the FAR-83 Assault Rifle that you unlock at Tier 15, and the second one is the LC-10, which is of course a DLC submachine gun that you unlock at tier 31. Interestingly enough, there's actually a third DLC weapon, which is of course the machete that you can unlock by just completing a very simple challenge. So with that said, if you guys go on to enjoy this one and you find it useful, make sure you leave a like on it down below as well as subscribe and turn post notifications. That way you guys will not miss any of the latest and greatest Call of Duty news, class slips, and all kinds of things like that. So without further ado, now that I got the intro out of the way, let's dive right into it. Okay, so first and foremost, if you open up Cold War as well as you go over to your creative class, and you select the class slip and you go over to your secondary weapon and you head on over to the melee category yes i know that's quite a few steps you will of course be seeing the machete dlc weapon and of course the description of this weapon states manufactured from a durable steel blade tempered to maximum toughness to resist chipping and breaking popular in many tropical countries as both a weapon and agricultural tool and of course to unlock this particular dlc weapon you have to complete a challenge which states earn a backstabber medal in 15 different matches and of course the description of a backstabber medal is a melee kill from behind so yeah let me just say for this particular challenge it's not as convoluted or tricky as some of the other dlc weapons for example i believe it was either the wakazashi or the sledgehammer we actually had to get two executions in 15 different matches which can be a little bit challenging however of course for this one it's pretty straightforward you just need to get backstabber metal in 15 different matches so that said i also want to mention and that is an alternative way that you can unlock this new dlc weapon is just by purchasing a bundle if you head on over to the store you will notice that there is a brand new bundle which is called river slasher and of course in that particular bundle you are going to be getting quite a few different items however one of them is actually the black water legendary blueprint for the machete so if you guys would like to you can purchase this bundle for 1800 cod points and you can immediately start using the machete however if you really want to max it out one thing that you can do is purchase this bundle as well as unlock the base variation of the machete so that way you'll have a legendary blueprint as well as the base version which is pretty cool however that said now let's talk a little bit about strategies as well as some things that you can do so that way you can unlock this particular DLC weapon the fastest. Of course, as the challenge states, you need to get 15 backstabber medals. So that means naturally, you're going to have to run some sort of melee weapon as your secondary weapon. So it doesn't matter if it's a combat knife or the wakizashi or the sledgehammer. You just need to run a melee DLC weapon that's capable of getting backstabber medals. In addition to that, on your class level, I would highly recommend that you run Dead Silence. Just so that way you can run up behind a person and get the backstabber medal without them hearing you. Because one thing that you really don't want to happen is to run up behind a person. You're about to get that easy backstabber metal however they turn around and shoot you or alternatively they turn around and then you stab them however it doesn't count as a backstabber metal because at that point you stab them in the upper arm so that said i would also highly recommend that you run either a flash or stun grenade so that way when you see an opponent you can throw down the flash grenade they'll be stunned and then you can run up behind them and get the backstabber metal now i also do quickly want to mention something and that's this particular challenge is pretty easy in the sense that you can get it done really passively there are actually times when i was playing today to actually unlock this challenge and as i use my primary weapon throughout the entire game however i just saw some person and he was looking out a window so i switched over to my combat knife got the backstabber medal and that was pretty much it so generally speaking there's really two primary ways of getting this challenge done one is just doing it casually for example you run your normal class stuff however you also have a combat knife as your secondary weapon just so that way when a good opportunity arises you can get that backstabber medal and the other way is really going for it so what you would do is you make a class up that's specifically designed for getting backstabber medals so in that class up you would definitely run dead silence you would use tracker and you would definitely also use two stun grenades or flash grenades and of course you get your backstabber medal then you switch over to a normal class slip and finish out the game because of course for this particular challenge you need to get one backstabber medal in 15 different games and i have tested it you cannot quit a game you have to finish it out for the actual challenge to count so in addition to what i already said i would also highly recommend that you play nuketown because it is a very small map as well as deliberately search for tdm games because those games are extremely short so that means you can play quite a few of them in a very short amount of time therefore allowing you to unlock this challenge the absolute fastest so yeah guys that's gonna effectively wrap up today's video i hope you went on to enjoy it and if you did don't forget to leave a like on down below as well subscribe and turn on post notifications so that way you guys will not miss any of the latest and greatest call of duty news class slips and all kinds of things like that so once again that's gonna effectively wrap up today's video i'm your host steve jungle i hope to see you in the next one